To me, that's just so much cooler than when I bypass it. You gotta hang the right spot until that's too polite. If I'm not offending your grandma, I'm doing something wrong. This is something I'll often do right in a transition before another section, and I'll just add a little bit extra saturation. If you've never done those kind of automations before, I definitely recommend it. I mean, for me, that was the most game-changing things of, of mixes. This is a good example of just trying to cut what you just don't need. Visually, we can see how much stuff is going on low, even if we can't fully hear it. So all that little bit of stuff just adds up once you got a hundred things going on at the same time. So you can see just sending a snare track through there. It kind of sounds like it's coming through a little bit of a crappy toy speaker, but really it's just overdrive, saturation, compression, some filters. I'm gonna do something freaky and actually throw THU on it. I'm gonna actually look at the guitar pedals. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm using all these synths for different reasons. On synths, I always like lots of air, I like things that sound kind of buzzy almost. I love this sound. I use the mix and master Gluer setting on the Monster. I actually work this down usually to like only three to 5%. This course is available in the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which gives you thousands of dollars worth of award-winning plugins, the industry's most game-changing synthesizer, Anna 2, and the very best masterclass production courses taught by the industry's biggest pros, all for $14.99 per month.